Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to crack WEP, which is also known as Wired Equivalent Privacy. WEP is the least secure wireless protocol and it's really very rare chance that you're going to see people who are still using WEP, but you never know. So the reason why WEP is um, the least secure wireless protocol because it can be cracked by using brute force attack. So let's get started. So first of all, as in my previous videos, we are going to enable the monitor mode on WLAN zero. So Airmon NG start WLAN zero. Airmon NG start WLAN zero. So the monitor mode is enabled. Now I'm going to scan the networks to find out the target network which is configured with WEP. So as you can see, Cybersecurity Ranger 2 is the target network which has been configured with WEP protocol and it is operating on channel 6 and this is the MAC address of the wireless router. All right. I'm going to open a new terminal. And here a dump, iPhone NG. iPhone C is the channel, channel six. iPhone, iPhone BSSID is the MAC address of the wireless router. Cyber Security Ranger 2 and minus W is to write these packets into a file. I'm going to call it Ranger 2, or I'm going to call it Ranger WEP. And the interface name is WLAN0. So now it has started capturing the packets. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that the method of cracking WEP is completely different from WPA and WPA2. WPA and WPA2 can be cracked by using dictionary attack. However, you can crack WEP by using brute force. But we need to have enough data packets with the initialization vectors in order to crack it. Um, you need to have at least 20,000 data packets. Right now, you can see that the data packets is zero. And the reason why, because none of the station is actually communicating with the wireless router. So, and and it's understandable because it's a demonstration. So one way is that you keep waiting while somebody starts browsing on the internet, and then you will see that the number of data packets will increase. The other way is that if you don't want to wait, you have to launch a replay attack. First of all, you need to get your um, attacking machine fakely authenticated to the wireless router, and then we'll launch another ARP replay attack, which is going to increase the number of data packets. So let me split this terminal. And now I'm going to launch an air replay attack with minus one option. Now minus one is basically for fake authentication. If you want to know what minus one, minus two, minus three, like in my other videos, what does it mean? You can always use the help. Let me just show you. So a replay, dash ng hyphen hyphen help. Here you can see what does it mean by minus zero, which we have done in my previous videos. It's a de-authentication attack. Minus one is for fake authentication that I'm going to do now. And then I'm also going to use minus three which is a standard ARP uh, request uh, replay attack. All right, so, so minus one, zero, and minus A is the MAC address of the um, wireless 
target wireless network and WLAN zero is my interface. So as you can see, it says sending authentication, open authentication system. And if you get this message, authentication successful, it basically means that you have been fakely authenticated to the wireless router. And the proof of that is that you can see here that before it was showing one station, but now it shows that there are two stations connected. However, the number of data packets are still three only, and we need to increase it to 20,000. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to launch another attack. Let me clear this screen. A replay NG. Minus three is for the standard R replay attack. Minus B is the MAC address of the target wireless router and WLAN zero is the interface. All right, so now you can see that it has, um, it is trying to um, to wait for an R request when it gets once it gets an R legitimate R request, uh, it is going to then copy and then keep on replaying it to the target. You can see that the data packets have started increasing. It has reached to forty five, but still not enough. So let's see. Let's wait for some time. And now you can see that the number of data packets have increased, is increasing at a considerable rate. And we won't have to wait for long to, you know, get 20,000 data packets. And you can see here as well, it's sending the R replay packets and then getting the response back. And we are actually saving them already in the file Ranger WEP. So let's just wait for some time until it reaches 20,000 and then we are going to crack it. And like I said earlier, you don't need to launch this replay attack if somebody is already connected to the wireless router and uh, he's browsing through the internet, downloading some videos. So in that case, the data packets, uh, you know, automatically you'll be receiving a lot of data packets without launching a replay attack. One of the negative sides of replay attack is that sometimes the routers, uh, they may kick you out and you will lose the connection with the router because of the active attack that we are launching here. Luckily for us, it's still working we have not been kicked out by the router otherwise i'll have to relaunch this attack so we are almost about to reach 20000 now there is no guarantee that you can crack it um after 20000 packets or before so you never know it maybe uh after 15000 packets you can crack it maybe after 25000 packets you can crack it maybe after 30000 packets you can crack it it really depends on the initialization vector, um, the IVs that you're receiving, that at which point they're going to start repeating themselves. And again, that that's another discussion that probably I'll, I'll, I'll explain in some other lecture of the wireless protocols. All right, so we have around 25,000. I think it's safe that we can try to crack it. I'm going to open a new terminal, not going to stop the attack in case if the packets are not enough. Right, so let it go in the background while I use aircrack and the file name was ranger web 01.cap. All right, so that was quick. Um, you can see here the key is 336B9A39CA. Now, don't worry about the, the colon sign here. Um, it's just the way the air track shows the key. So if you use this key 336B9A39CA without the colon, you should be able to connect to the um, wireless router. And it says decrypted 100%. Now, the reason why it shows the key in this way is, well, usually people, they keep passphrases, but the, um, the vendors, they thought that, okay, the passphrases, they might fall for the dictionary. So why don't we just, 
take the passphrase from the user who or administrator who is trying to configure WEP and then we generate a complex hexadecimal number. Well, they thought it will work, but obviously it doesn't work. So the passphrase is there behind this key, but when you try to get connected to the wireless router, you actually need this key to get connected. And the reason I know is because this is my wireless router and I have configured it, so this password is 100% correct. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.